Hi, I'm Ron Polk, and this is my smart wood shop. This is my complete shop in an 8x12 aluminum mission trailer. The question that I have been asked over the years, thousands of times, is how do things stay in place when you're moving your tools in your trailer? As many times I've been challenged saying that it's not possible that your tools stay in place. They fall out. I get examples given. Oh, my, my crew does this and they bounce over curves and they bust axles and things go all over the place. This trailer, though it's new, the concepts and the way things are done, for the most part, have been proven over decades. And not one time ever has a tool bounced and landed on the floor or been out of its place or a drawer come open. The other day, I made a video where I hooked up the trailer and drove it to the scales. Now, when I did that, I had to go off island. It was further than I ever travel for construction because I only work on Fidalgo Island. So I put the trailer to the biggest test of all, going the longest distance. I got back and I opened it up. I didn't have the lights on because I would have had to get back in to do that. And I just said, everything looks in place. What I decided to do was take a few minutes before I touch anything. I took everything out of the aisle. It was right where I put it. And I rolled out my extension cord so that I would have my lights on. I haven't touched anything else. And as you can see, everything is where I put it. There's not a drawer open. Now, of course, this is my new style drawer where you have to lift and pull so they won't come open no matter how much it bounces around. But all of the tools are only held in place with passive restraints. That is critical in my design. I do not want my tools, any kind of bar or bungee cord or tie down in any way. It's important to me that when I get on the job, the most I have to do is roll things out of the aisle way, which takes one minute or less, and plug in my trailer, which again, a few seconds, it's plugged in, because the cord is on a reel that I just pull out through the hole that I've drilled in the floor of the trailer, plug it in, and then I have lights. At that point, I can start working. I can, everything is labeled, everything is in place, and all I have to do is grab it and go to work. As a side note, I use very few boxes. Even the beautiful Fest toolboxes that come with all of my tools, they slow me down. They interrupt my workflow. So having the tools passively restrained and ready for me to grab and go is paramount. Anything else would take more space. The trailer would have to be bigger and would take more time. If I, for example, one of the few boxes I keep is my kit here for installation of things, drill bits and a lot of things. I like this box, I've decided that this works in my workflow, but if my drills were in this, I would have to open it up and get the drill out or take it in and open it up and get the drill out rather than just reaching in, grabbing my drill and it's ready to use. I've got my chargers all plugged in so I don't need to go find a place to plug in chargers. All my batteries are labeled charged and need to be charged. So the efficiency in the workflow has been worked out over decades and I've built over 200 houses and I don't even know how many remodels I've done and decks I've built and hardwood floors I've installed and cabinet kit, you know, kitchens and, and cabinets that I've just done the install of the cabinets. All of that has led me to developing this system over decades and continuing to refine. And this is by far, though unproven, I haven't used this specific trailer, but the concepts are all proven with a few new things like these drawers, which 
these just make common sense and, and are just an evolution and the best that I've come up with to date. So, to the deniers out there, things stay in place. Anybody in any environment, if you bounce things around so much that this stuff would come out, then I would say it's more your technique of driving. If you've got a curb to go over, and I've had that said, when you bounce over a curb, everything is gonna go flying. I don't bounce over curbs. I've never needed to do that. Sure, occasionally I've gotta go over a speed bump or a curb with my trailer, but I just slow down and take it over. It isn't gonna bounce my trailer all around. I work on big projects that are sometimes estate projects where we put in a dirt driveway, a gravel driveway to get started before we put in asphalt or pavement. And I take the tr truck and trailer on down those roads. Again, I don't go speeding down them if they're, uh, if they're bumpy. I'll just take a little more time. I'm not gonna bounce my stuff around by just driving in a way that doesn't make any sense. So it does work. Believe it or not, and it's the last time I'm gonna answer the question. I'm gonna have this video, I'll come up with a title that'll say something in it about things staying in place or where I can link anybody to this video, just so you know. Things stay in place with passive restraints. So this is just a three quarter lip. So tools, if they do bounce around a little bit, they're not gonna come bouncing out and hit the floor. It would take an incredible amount of swaying and bouncing for it to do that. And in almost 30 years of driving box trucks, vans, and trailers, nothing's ever come out. And I haven't ever come into a situation where I've bounced the trailer or the truck or the van to the point that anything in here would, would fall out. Now, there's a couple of things that I'm not 100% sure about, like all of my clamps up here. I did this in art for two years and not one ever uh, fell, but I've expected that at some point in time, if I don't have one tight enough, it may vibrate down and fall to the floor. Not a big deal, but I have thought about getting some rubberized or cork material, sticky material, and putting it on one edge of the rafter just so that it, you know, without clamping as tight, it gets a better bite. But again, nothing's failed yet or fallen yet, and, and I did this for almost two years in art. So I'm pretty confident they're gonna stay. But again, if one of my clamps falls to the floor, it's not a big deal. I like having them here because I can see my clamps. And again, my workflow, I can see my tools, I can put my hand on my tools, and I can go to work. Well, I hope this answers the question once and for all. If you like these videos and you wanna follow along, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. And please, right there, it's so easy to do. You can even do it while you're watching the video. Click on the thumbs up if you like the video. And if you don't like it, click down. It's gotta be one or the other. Either you like it or you don't. Also, I have an Amazon store, Ron's Amazon store, which I will put a link to in this video. And I'd appreciate it if you go there. You get the same prices on the tools you get if you didn't, if you went to Amazon directly, but then they give us a little piece of the action which helps support the channel and make these videos. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.